Hello YouTubers. So today I firstly have to make a massive apology to you. Um, I haven't been very well. I haven't had the coronavirus but my daughter has but I've had a cough and a cold which has been a bit like flu but it's not part of the corona so I'm okay. But we also got some bad news this last week and I found out my five-year-old Rottweiler was in renal failure um, stage four. So it's been a bit of a, a tough sort of last sort of week or couple of weeks um hence why it's been three weeks since i released a video so i do apologize about that i just feel like we just seem to go from bad to worse week to week day by day so at the moment she's home so that we're thankful for that and uh, we're just taking it bit by bit to see how we get on so today i thought i would bring you a video to do with my puppy, she just sat next to me. Um, my video to do with, I know we were doing about table dressings and wedding cake dressings and all that, but I just felt like Christmas is coming and I'm making some Christmas wreaths this year. So we will go into a little bit more of that. And we've done a couple of the flowers out of my table dressings. So we will go into further into, into there's a couple of others, but they're quite time consuming and I'm not 100% um, um, confident with them at the moment so I need to just practice them a little bit more and get it to how I would do it so that it makes it easy for you guys so today I want to come and show you we've got some artificial snow from Hobbycraft that was like two pounds for the whole big tub um, comes in a bag very very annoying once you open the bag you can't stick it back down um, and it is very 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 lightweight shall we say as you can see there um the next one is you can see was 199 this was from a garden center up the road from where i live um much much better screw top and this is in a different way it's not so fluffy it's more um like pieces if you can see that okay that's the one i probably prefer to use um i also have some hobbycraft glitter just normal glitter it's not extra fine or anything like that it's just normal glitter and i have this embossing powder which is white sparkly now because it's embossing powder it's extremely fine if you don't you can let me open the top as you can see screw top i don't use it as embossing powder but it is fantastic and looks great um ooh, used on a snow so it just really depends on what you want so we're going to stick these on with pva glue ooh, let me move that back let me move my keyboard here i really don't want to get snow in it oh there we go oh i do apologize Okay. Um, so yeah so we're going to have a little look at all four, all four of these today and, and see how they go on so I've got a rose that was actually not used in the table displays that I I made um, I'm just going to zoom you in just a little bit um, so if you can see it's just a, a normal rose I haven't even wrapped it properly or anything like that it just sort of sat there on surplus to requirements so I thought that was a good one to show you how to get it on the, all the edges and everything now I've searched and searched and searched because I wanted to localize where I put my snow so I wanted and I've looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and, looked, and I cannot find any videos at all that show you how to do this so my game my theory was that I would have a go at it myself and then I would bring a video to you guys and let you see um, how I've been doing it so this is a blackberry I just sort of made and whipped up this is going to go into my one of my my reefs as you can see there it's pretty cool this was made with a Nicholas Lodge um, mold so very very good I feel like my camera's the bear with me folks um, sorry there's my hand there, that's better. Oh, 
Okay, that's better. Right, you don't feel like you're at the back of the world now. No? Um, I've made some holly. This is like my 3D holly. Uh, keeping it nice and thin, nice, long, thin um, stems so I can wrap them around um, one of my um, reefs, which I will do a video on later on. I will do go back to the table dressings and some of the flowers and show you how to make some of the flowers, but it probably won't be till after Christmas now, like I say, I want to concentrate on Christmas really, um, and, and just sort of a bit of a chain of scene, change of scenery, change of pace, um, and try and sort of look at doing some other bits, uh, because of due to the situation, I can't really concentrate, and I'm struggling to concentrate on anything at the moment, as I'm sure you'll appreciate. So that's my holly that I made, again with a Nicholas Lodge. I'm a big, 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 big fan of Nicholas Lodge moulds. They are brilliant. If you can afford them, um, they are worth investing in. Again, another Nicholas Lodge one. This is the oak leaves and um, little nuts. Very, very easy to make. Really, really good. Again, another one, if you can afford to invest in it, worth doing. Um, so we're going to use that one as well because these are going to be used in my reefs. So right, so let's try the first one. I thought I would use the Hobbycraft Snow and we'll use it on this rose. Just because we're not using it at this moment in one of my reefs because it's not really a Christmassy kind of colour that I want to use. Um, doesn't mean that in future I won't use it. So I do want it to look good if possible. And I am going to do some table dressings and some poses and everything so I'm hoping to use them in that. So I've got my tile, so I'm just going to squirt some glue on it, some PVA glue. Now normally I would try and use a tool of some sort to put on my glue, um, because I'm really, really naughty for letting them dry, the brushes. Um, but I'm going to use a brush today because I want to really get it localised on where, where it goes. So this one then, so I'm just going to literally use your PVA glue. And just gently now there's a lot of videos on YouTube that show um, how to, to put it on if you've got like scenes of rail, rail, railway model um, things like that which is great but not really what I'm looking for so right, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more just so we can you can see really well okay so what I want to do is I don't want my snow other than on the edges of my my leaves my petals so what I would say to you here is follow the lines and think about where the snow would hit if you're going for a more realistic look. Don't do too oh, I've got the shakes now. Look. Don't do too much in one go because you can always dip back in afterwards. So just follow the petals round. It does get harder to do after you've done a few petals because you can't hold on to them because it knocks the snow off. And then literally, all I, this is what I like about this one, because it's in a big tub now, you literally just stick the face in. As it goes on though, what I will do is sprinkle it on. And there you have your first piece. I like that, that's perfect for what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to do this inside bit here. Try not to get the glue too thick, because you don't want it pooling. Um, although it'll grow, it'll grow, it'll cl um, dry clear. It will still look. You'll be able to see it because the more snow will stick to it. I mean, if you wanted to um, do the entire rose head all it all in one, then you could maybe use a, a spray glue and then dip it in in one go. But that's not really what I want to do. So. Okay, so just bit by bit, just work around. Um, I'm going to say what I always say, don't rush is the way forward. Okay, and now I'm going to sprinkle this one because I don't really want to dislodge what we've already got on there. Put it, Turn it back over and give it a tap. Now obviously in the smaller tubs that does work out more hard. It's like harder to do. Now that looks pretty good so far. Now this, I find this glue, personally, a little bit clumpy to use. Okay, so I, all I'm going to do now is just do a little bit on the outer edges. I'm going to go a little bit further in on the outer edges because, because they're the outer edges. If I feel like if I'd have gone too far in on the inner edges, 
um, of the petals what you'll end up with is just a, a mass of, of snow which is not really what I'm looking for so I do my petal at a time that way then you don't get confused and lost as to where you've you've got to a piece of there look. it's always handy to have a piece of kitchen roll or something which I have got actually to hand so just bring it in as far as you want it to go and then sprinkle Okay, give it a good sprinkling because you don't really want to miss any parts so move it round so you get every bit that you've, you've glued give it a tap and that's oh, there like that okay I'm going to move this glue over so you can see when I sprinkle it in there's my big tub of snow okay so I'm going to turn my rose round now which I'm sure you can appreciate is looking good the only other big bear I've got this one as well is that it's not um, sparkly in any way. It's just kind of like a flat, quite a realistic rose, uh, rose snow. Okay, so I'm just going to go along that edge there. And again up there because I want it in there. Down this bit here. I've just done this one here, so... I'm going to sprinkle that now because I don't want it to dry on that one petal. Okay. You can see. I'm just going to sprinkle it there as well. And give it a good tap from behind. Now what I would do with it after it's done, I would, I'm going to, put some um, spray finisher on it. If you put and um, try and brush a finisher on, what you'll find is that it won't work. Oh, more kick handed here. There we go. It won't work because as fast as you're brushing on your top coat, it's taking off what you've just put on with the snow. So that's really sort of quite important. Um, and I'm just going to do this one here. If you can see that edge, I'm just going to go along that edge. Now, I want, like I say, I want to come in a little bit further than the other, the other ones because it's on the right on the outside edge. Now, obviously, if you normally would have a calyx on the bottom, oh, I have got a calyx on the bottom, um, but it's not big enough to notice it, so it can't can't be seen. But if you're going to do um, rose leaves it would be worth doing the rose leaves as well otherwise it will look a bit odd if you've got snow on your rose but not on your leaves so it's trying to sort of think about things as they as they sort of come up so you don't have to come back and do it again okay so we're just going to do that at the half now look if you can see that so i'm just going to sprinkle and then just sprinkle over the whole thing just in case you've missed any um you don't want to miss any that you've glued and give it a good tap like so and there you have it okay, a bit more light coming in off that window than I would want and there you go How, if you can see oh see that I'm very pleased with it I think it looks very realistic very you could say it's a bit frosty um, it just looks really nice Okay, so that's that one. So I'm going to stand that in there so we know that's the one that we used. I'm going to hang it over the edge. No, I'm not because it's too top heavy. Bear with me. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness, it's not going to stay there. Um, let me stand it in a box. Never thought about this, you know. Okay. So I've just popped it into, let me move that back for you, oh, just popped it into my dragon eye, just there, so we can, I don't want to lay it down because I don't want to knock any of the um, the snow off that we've got. Okay, so I'll move that one back, and I'll pop that one next to it, so we know that that's what it was. Now these ones pose their own problems now, because here they are only in a small container, um, it does pose a problem sort of sprinkling it on and then not wasting any so you want a piece of kitchen roll you want to open it up and then if anything drops off it will catch it in this bit here and um, you'll be able to put it back in 
it's more so with these than than this sort of thing because it's um, quite a large top to the to it and it's quite big pieces so it's not too bad so the first one we'll do will be the ivy oh my goodness I am all over the place today holly sorry now again I don't want to cover this in um, in snow so I'm going to zoom you back down just a little bit and then we're just going to again do what I did before <sighs> oh I've got snow all over my hands um, I'm going to do a leaf at a time because I don't want too much of it done all in one go so by doing this it'll mean as well that you can get it um, into the pot okay so I'm going to start on the top leaf and I'm just going to put it on this very top bit so I'm going to put it just on the tops of my eye um, my eye I nearly did it again holly like this because this is I want it sort of stood up right when it goes into the um, the reef so don't forget to do your backs a little bit but I'm not too worried about my backs because it's going to be led down I'm just going to do the very very top just to make sure that if anybody sees it if the leaf is stuck out slightly it will be seen okay so there we go that so I'm going to bend all the others forward a little bit and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in now this is like I said much lighter it's a much lighter snow and there you go so that's the first one done I'm sure you can let me put my hand up there again I'm sure you can appreciate that's really pretty and we will look at the two and look at the differences between them so I'm just going to do the next two keep these ones bent and pulled forward okay and some more glue again I'm just going to do because they that's that's the direction they would sort of be sat in so just up there like that I don't want to do the entire thing just in the archy bits and then we'll do the berries last because that will have to be a sprinkly job okay now this one I'm going to, oh it's my doorbell I'm going to have to sprinkle it on so there we go remember you've got your piece of kitchen roll underneath it so that if you do end up spilling any it's not a problem give it a tap and already you can see that that is starting to look really realistic really like that one again the only bugbear I have with these is that there is no um, sparkles in them so it's a bit of a shame but um, uh, now my pup thinks that there's somebody at the door now probably somebody walking past okay so I'm just going to put a little bit down here as well just on these few bits here bon bon come on baby okay again you don't want it to puddle so I'm just going to do the very top again because if it's sticking out slightly that is what people will be able to see okay so you don't want to puddle the glue because I don't want it to suck in too much of the snow okay ready again now this is a good container but it is very awkward to use so that's one thing I'm, I'm not keen on this this bit or this one but I can't really hold it against it because it's not too bad to use it's kind of sticks together it's kind of a strange texture it's just says fine snow fine Christmas snow and that's all it says well I'm glad that had lots of information on there for you okay like I say, that was a garden centre we got this one from. So I'm going to turn it round and we're going to do this one now. Again, we're going to follow exactly the same pattern because I like the fact that when it's stood up right, it's going to look like it's going, well, it's going to look really good. So there we go. And then just on the edges of these rather than in the, the arc of the, the pet, the leaf. We'll do the holly buds in a minute. And again, I'm just going to go behind a little bit on this one because I, if somebody could sort of sees it and it's stuck forward slightly, I don't want to be governed in my reef as to how much forward I pull it and put it. I want to be able to have that choice. 
Okay, so that's that side. So this is going everywhere. <laughs> oh, did you see that? I just blew it. Okay, so I, I, it is awkward to use, but it does look very, very good. So we've got two more to do here. So I'm just going to do them in exactly the same way, just on the tips and in the arch bit on this one. This side bit here. And then just in front on these bits here. So I hope everybody else has been keeping safe. Like I say, my daughter brought COVID into my house from school, which I wasn't, not her fault, bless her. So we've all been on lockdown. Although I've had my jabs, I don't need to stay in. But as a responsible person, I tried to, with my husband, we've stayed in and um, kept her in for no, oh plums um just over a week so, uh, well 10 days about 14 days she stayed in including the weekend so i am absolutely covered in snow ladies and gentlemen okay and then the last one down there i'm just going to do exactly the same that's come out loads on the right there um yeah so she she was a very good girl she stayed in she's okay we had the Delta variant in the house, but thankfully, touch wood, I never caught it, nor did my husband. How, I don't know, because you can't um, sort of confine a child to a bedroom. It was very difficult for her. And she, plus, she didn't feel very well either. Um, she was pretty rough with it, but we got through it and we were okay. But it was about the same time as my grandson kept catching um, the cold that my granddaughter has given to us all. Um, and he ended up with new um, baby bronchitis and he ended up in the hospital so it was quite frightening and then we couldn't get near him because he spent a week in hospital which was really sad but he's okay he's on the mend and he's doing good he's coming up for 11 weeks old um, next week I think so he's getting big now Right, so there we go. So I'm going to move this because I like mine to look a bit on the 3D side. So I'm going to move it back, move them, try and move them back into their placements, because then it will make it easier when it comes to paint um, to snow in the the berries on the holly. Okay, so this one here is kind of goes up the middle there. So this one I'm going to do this top bit here because I want to um, sort of leave that. Try and put the the pet the leaves where you would you're gonna want them, and then by doing that, it means you can get a realistic sort of coverings of snow on it. So I'm gonna do the back of this one because this one will undoubtedly be seen. Is that a word? Undoubtedly, I don't know. It's my word. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna do the same again. I am absolutely covered in snow as you can see there is snow everywhere so that is quite hard and what I might do is it, it transfer these to containers to make it a bit easier in the future okay so now what I'm going to do a little bit on the berries I don't want a huge amount so I'm just going to do a little bit on the tops like so just each one each set of them there we go okay so I'm just gonna sprinkle it on did I miss that one out I think I did because it's tucked behind there I do apologize that's my poorly rottweiler she's snoring and relaxing on the bed and snoring like a piggy led with my my daughter we're all trying to spend as much time with her as possible without uh, annoying her which anybody who's got a rottweiler knows that whatever she wants she gets they're very strong-willed very loyal and beautiful okay there we go got it so there you go so that's that one i think that looks really nice and although it was a nightmare to put on, 
I'm sure you can appreciate. That's going to look fantastic in um, <coughs> dear me, <coughs> in my reef. So there you go. Okay, we're going to move on to that. I'm just going to pop a little bit more on this top one because I think it looks a bit bare, can, can sort of with along with the others that look pretty good. I'm just going to put a little bit more down that side. <coughs> Oh, and I've just rolled my brush into my glue. Okay. That's a bit better. I just wanted it to look as good that good. Right. So I can lay that one down because it's got nothing on the back. Not like the rose, where it's sort of sat forward. So that was that one that came from a garden centre. So I'm going to move you back out again. So you can just see the, the devastation on my desk. So because I used the kitchen roll, I'm just going to pull that forward oh dear um i have got into a bit of a pickle with it i'm not going to lie to you it's such a small opening it kind of sucks you in and then you think oh good you've got a bigger opening but actually it's a bit of a lie okay so that's just just something that i think in the future if i go to use it again for some more which i will do because it's obviously on my holly then um, i will transfer it into a larger um, container. There we go. Right, let's clear this off so we can start with the next one. So the next one is a, it's in a glitter shaker, which is better, but still bodes its own issues. So, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Dude, excuse me. <coughs> These ones are the glitters and I'm going to use the hop, this was from Hobbycraft. It's just one of their hobby craft glitters, um, which is fine. So I'm going to zoom you back in again. And this one, I'm just going to, I don't want a huge amount on this one. On the tops of the berries, I'm going to put a little bit on the edges of the flower and just a little bit on the tops of the, the leaves, just because it's going to go upright like that in the side of a... Um, a reef. Either that or it will stand upright in a posy on a table dressing, so I'm not sure which one yet. Your piece of kitchen roll, very very important for this one because it goes everywhere. Um, being a shaker, um, it um, can be a, a bit more um, out of control, shall we say. So I'm really looking forward to trying these berries. I haven't put any on yet, any of them, because you've got the inside of the berries and I'm hoping that what will happen is it will just stick to the outside of the berry where I put the glue oh I got it completely off off camera just let me zoom you in a bit more there we go um, so that when I brush it off it will show and reveal the berry tops if you like I will do a video and show you the Nicholas Lodge um, moulds because I do do it different to him. Um, it's just whatever works for each of you. I know how I use mine and I'm sure he knows how he uses his. And he is amazing at it. So I, I tend to sort of watch and see how he does it and then I, I do it how I would do it for myself, if that makes sense. Right, so this one I'm going to open the sprinkler and I'm going to use the sprinkler because rather than dumping it on, I think the sprinkler is quite a nice idea. So, and then just literally going to make sure you're on your kitchen roll because otherwise you'll never pick it back up. Now, I like the glitters. I'm um, anything sparkly. Give it a tap. Now, if you can see that. I don't know that that looks as good as the snows. It's a shame because if we could mix the two together, I think the two snows would be really, really nice. The snow and the glitter. Now, this isn't super fine glitter or anything like that, so please don't forget that. This is just a normal hobby craft glitter. And it will, the white will go because it will dry and it will dry clear. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge of this leaf here the what petal on this blackberry bush I'm into my blackberries and nuts and all things wonderful like that 
I'm going to put a few on this bit here to make the middle perhaps sparkle a little bit. Okay, here we go again. I'm going to move your brush out of the way as well, otherwise if you, you douse it in, in this glitter, it will douse and cover your brush and then you'll have trouble with the glue. So it's just like using a, a, a salt and pepper seller. Okay, and then we're going to just turn it over. Oh, I'm getting covered in. I'm, I am a messy, naturally a messy worker, a nat naturally a messy crafter. I can't help it. It's just how I am. Can you can see that? It's very sparkly, isn't it? Beautiful. Okay, and we're going to go along the tops of each, just along the tops of these, um, with a little bit of the glue and a little bit of the glitter. So I'm just not going to sort of really um, carefully put it on. I, I'm going to sort of just woof it on so that it looks a little bit more natural rather than I know whereabouts I want it. So there we go. Remember, I'm just going to do one side at a time. So oh, I'm at, you're off screen again. Sorry, folks. So we're going to do one side at a time. Oh my goodness, she is a piggy. <laughs> okay. So there we go. So we've got the top and the sides. So I'm going to let it go down as if it was snowing on the top. Like so. And then get the fronts. Give it a tap. And there you go. So it's on the... Uh, that looks very much like it's been like a frosty night, a uh, frosty morning. So then we're going to do the other side. Okay. Oh, nearly dug my brush into my glue. And again, it is very useful to try, if you can, get the items that you want the glitter on in the placement that you want them. Okay. You'll find it easier to um, to make it look more natural. I'm going to put some more on that bottom, this flower here, because I just feel like it just needs a little bit more. Anything sparkly, I'm terrible. I'm a bit of a magpie when it comes to things like that. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to go straight down on that one. And then, like I did before, down. So basically the glitter will only go where you put the glue. So try and remember that. So at least you've got that in your control. Because glitter and everything are very difficult to use if you're trying to localise um, where it's going. And give it a tap. It can be it can be a really messy job. <sighs> give them a bit of a blow. <sighs> and there you have that one. Now I think you can agree. Absolutely beautiful. Really pretty. Looked really, really lovely. And a great addition for my um my reef. And that looked great on there. Or one of the poses. So I'm going to put that down next to the holly. So they're two very, very different ones. And we'll get the rose out in a minute as well and we'll have a look and do a comparison. So the last one I wanted to show you, let me just put this away. Okay. You have to excuse my hands, I've been doing, um, you see the green. I've been doing Christmas roses, the hellebore. And um, I'm halfway through doing a billion leaves. But again, that'll be something that we'll, I'll do a video on and show you. And then after Christmas, I will go back to using and showing you the table dressings. I have got in one of my other videos a table dressing that's been stripped down to pieces. And I'm going to show you how to assemble it and show you each plant or each um, piece individually. Right, so the last one we've got... Whoop, Oh, I'm covered in PVA glue. Um, it's the the paper paper, uh, paper mania. Now this is great stuff. I love it. It's holographic embossing powder. 
I don't like it as an embossing powder personally. I don't like using them. I don't. I don't like embossing um, powders. Full stop. I bought this a long time ago in the sale. Um, I don't know for why, but I also bought a clear one. For what good that is, I have no idea. Um, but I suppose I could add some gold glitter to that one or something like that, or some red. But I also bought a gold one as well, which is really pretty. Which I've actually used on my um, some of my cones. So you can see that one. So we're going to do this one. So this is much like the same um, with the glitter. Um, it's straight onto your, your kitchen roll. Otherwise you, what you'll end up doing is getting it everywhere and you'll end up in a right pickle, which I'm sure you can appreciate is, is how I generally end up. So this one we've got an oak, um, an oak leaves an oak little, with little acorns. Um, this is a green one. Normally acorns and oak leaves are or like an orange, but when they're green like this, they're like new. They're very new um, little oak leaves. So what I'm going to do is we'll use this one. And I've just noticed there is actually a wire poking through on this left. This le can you see that? I didn't actually realise. So what I can do is you can either replace that one, which I'm not going to because um, it's well it's well on there but what I am going to do is I'm going to cover it with a little bit of um, embossing powder but we're not going to heat this up so we're just going to use it literally as a glitter but as long as you don't put any sort of heat guns or anything like that on it which I'm sure you won't um, if it comes to using on a reef and all that sort of thing because it, it's going to destroy your reef and catch fire so just keep it all away from any kind of heat you should keep any of this away from any kind of heat always follow the instructions on the manufacturer's guarantee um, but like I say I'm, I'm, used, I'm just using this as a, a glitter it's really pretty because it's so fine next time I shan't buy an embossing powder I should just go and find an extra fine glitter so same thing again PVA glue now I'm going to go along the tops here these are a really beautiful shape um, really really pretty pretty shape and we're just going to go down it's going to be about halfway down because that's where it gets the the biggest leaves the biggest sticky outy bits and then it starts to sort of reduce in size again it goes seems to go from smaller larger smaller although that one's stuck out so we'll, we'll use that one do that one there okay again i'm going to do this like i did before and just do it one leaf at a time now this is going more awkward because there's no shaker in the top so this one you have to be very controlled and gently just tip it on okay and I'm sure you'll agree it is absolutely beautiful this is why I like using this embossing powder because it really is absolutely stunning really nice the embossing powder with the the snow from the garden center might look really nice but what i would be concerned about is that the the embossing powder this one will drop to the bottom because it's it possibly is heavier than the snow so it's something i would have to look into but i would let you know so if i did have a look and, and tried to mix them i would let you know okay so i'm going to do the top of this one now so going in and out weaving in and out of in between the petal bits uh, petals leaf edges because it really is beautiful really lovely shape and beautiful to pop into a um, my reef I tried to sort of come up with different shapes different items and and whatnot so I've got pansetti as I've done and hellebur roses we've got um, what else have we got mistletoe then we've got a bit of all sorts really okay I'm going to cover that wire as much as I can and just see what happens okay here we go so I'll try to go over the top of this one and then just gently down the front of it there there we go we give it a tap again just move that out of the way I just want to make sure I get 
all the way along that top bit there because it's really pretty. Generally as a rule I would um, tip dip it in but these are too big to dip. Beautiful. Now this one I'm just going to do this edge here and then this little bit here. Ooh, let me put some more glue out. This was some... Um, my daughter came home with knits in years and years and years ago when she first started school and it's the only time she's ever had it and this was the knit pot and we scrubbed it out and popped it through the dishwasher and it's been absolutely invaluable so you can always find something for something if you see what I mean I never chuck anything out I'm a bit of a hoarder my husband tells me when it comes to things like that and she's only ever had it once so it was a blessing in disguise but it meant that it gave me a squeezy ball Okay, so I'm just going to go between those those uh, leaf edges again because they're beautiful again. Oh, okay, that's how they'll have to wait. And then along that edge at the bottom, like so. Okay, and this one I'm going to go around the hole because I want to. Um, sort of show there's a hole there okay oh my goodness pop it can you go and answer that yes okay there we go i'm going to tip that off the trouble is when you get down to um as low as what i've got in the pot you halfway through have to put everything down to put it back in the pot to use it again Some. Right, so on the ends of these, what we're going to do is just put them on the very, very tips. Just sort of, just sort of thinly spread it, is what I would say. And on the end of this one, going down to the back because that's. Oh, I need to let him the pot. Oh my goodness. Like so. And then down the front of this one keeping it as thin as possible do be careful when you're using it thinly because what will end up happening is it will dry before you get the um the glitter on there but i i quite like that because it gives it a a patchy look which is i like the patchy look okay there we go so last one don't want to miss any bits now do give them a good blow as well because sometimes it needs that just to take off the um any loose that won't come off you know what that was it just fell off oh, there's a bit of spare i don't know how that got in there but there you have it that's the uh the embossing powder right so let's pop that back in before we go any further because i mean it's i don't want to lose it for a start but can you imagine the mess yesterday i dropped in my kitchen my husband was not pleased a whole brand new container about that sort of size full of red food powder you cannot imagine the mess i was frowned on and almost beat him with an inch of my life. No, I'm only joking. Bless him. He wasn't very pleased though. Okay, let's just wipe this glue up before I go any further. And then we can have a look at basically all of them and see how we got on. So I've tried to stay as tidy as possible, which is something that I never normally do. Right, there we go. So I'll zoom out so we can take a look at all of them to get at the same time. Okay, so I don't know whether you'll be able to see them. Let me pop you on a piece of card. It might be easier. Whether you find it and make it easier for you to see. Does that make a difference? Yeah, I think it has. Okay. And then we've got 
the rose. Okay, so um, my personal favourite, I just zoomed you out, I know, my personal favourite is this one. This was the garden centre one, uh, fine snow, it was one ninety nine, so it's actually very cheap, um, it only cost a couple of pounds and I can imagine that's going to last me for a few years. Um, but at the same time I like this one because of the amount of sparkle and how glitzy that is. It's really, really pretty, really pretty. And like I say, I would like to mix the two together and I will have a go at it at some point, but I can imagine that this is heavier than this. So this would all go to the bottom. Okay, and then we've got the snow from Hobbycraft, which does look okay, in all fairness. It looks very realistic, probably more realistic than this one, because this one's a bit more, sort of got a little bit of sparkle to it. It does look nice. And with that in mind, for more of a natural look, I think this is the one I would go for. But I don't know. I, I'm very, very stuck. But looking at it, I mean, you can't make a judgment until the dry, the glue is completely dried. I'll show you for why. This is still drying, but if you can see how the white is going and it's leaving behind just sparkles, that's what will happen with the embossing powder. But that's quite subtle, I think. It's not over the top. If you can see at the top there, how the white is starting to, to disappear, leaving this beautiful sparkle behind. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the normal Hobbycraft glitter. This is just child's glitter in a, a shaker, which I'm very, very pleased with. I think they've all got their own um, good points. Very easy to use because it's in the shaker. This one, very realistic. And this one was from Hobbycraft for about £2 for this one. Um, which I had to bring home and put in its own tub. Which you can see, big tub. Um, which I can use it from. Just artificial snow. And this was found in the modelling section. Um, so just so you know. And then we've got... The one from the garden centre, very pleased, very nice. And the embossing powder, which if you can start it seeing now, it's starting to go clear. Which is just leaving now the, the sparkle on the, on the leaf now, look. So it, it will go, this white patch here will go. It will just leave some pretty sparkly stuff. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a bit of a, an, a look into um, how, whoops, sorry folks, um, how you can use different, oh no, I've dropped my brush, um, how you can use different things to use for different snows, different items, and get the different looks that you are looking for really. Um, I can't pick a favourite because I, I can't physically pick a favourite I just I think in their own rights each of them have their own good properties and their own sort of good points and um, there you go so thanks for watching beautiful I know and um, keep your eyes open we will be dismantling and redoing a table dressing that will be my next video um, so it's definitely one to keep an eye open for because the table dressings, it will give you an idea of doing if you wanted to do a table dressing for Christmas or something like that. Um, I will start showing you some Christmas flowers that I've been making and we'll go from there. So hit that subscribe button so you don't hit, miss anything else that I, I sort of bring out and produce. And again, I am so sorry for the lack of videos that I have been putting on. Um, but there is a good reason behind it. Um, but I will let you know her progress as it goes and we'll sort of go from there. So thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button and we'll speak soon.